Hello everybody. Welcome to the first gameplay video for the Chris Redfield playthrough of Resident Evil 1 HD Remake Remaster. Uh, I just wanted to go over a few little details before we get started here in the playthrough. Um, I won't be going over all the basic game details in this video uh, like I did in the Jill Valentine playthrough. Uh, if you'd like an overview of the game and its controls, please see the first gameplay video in the uh, Jill playthrough. Um, I'll also be linking the Jill Valentine and the Chris Redfield playlists in the descriptions of um, all the videos um, so that you can get uh, to them if you'd like to that way. Uh, mostly what I will be covering with uh, Chris will be just things that are relevant to differences uh, with him. Um, all the same mods I used for Jill I'll be using for Chris uh, with the exception of the outfit for Chris obviously being different than the one I used for Jill. Uh, I will be using a modded Chris outfit. Um, I'm also opting to use the uh, original Resident Evil 1 save room music for the Chris uh, playthrough. The music from the PlayStation 1 version, just for something different. Uh, this is being played on a clean save file. Uh, I'm not starting this game from the completed jail save file. I started completely fresh. Um, this playthrough will be a little more difficult than the jail playthrough, uh, at least for me, as we are playing on normal mode now. Plus, I've never beat the game with Chris. Uh, only once played maybe halfway through the game with him. Um, this game is roughly 10 to 30 hour playthrough, uh, same as Jill. Uh, the Jill playthrough uh, took me about 15, 14 or 15 hours, so uh, roughly that or a little more for Chris uh, since I'm not as experienced with him. Uh, so that's about it. Everything else is the same. I'm still using the uh, trainer so that I can use this outfit uh, that I want to use and to also use the uh, the door skip uh, from the trainer. Other than that, everything else is the same. Should be, anyway. Let me look at the options real quick just to make sure. I use Type B and I'm using alternate controls. Auto defense items, everything's the same. Uh, I'm using 70% brightness. Uh, audio, I just turned the background music down to mid just because it's a little loud and a little constant in this game. Not that it's bad, I don't mind the music, it's just a little overpowering and I want my voice to be heard clearly. Doing English, subtitles on. Everything's maxed that can be. Uh, the upload data is off. Should be good. Yeah, and don't forget there's a, a manual that you can reference. Uh, we can thumb through it here, just briefly. But there's a built-in manual in the game, which a lot of people may uh, overlook. I wonder if it actually uh, talks about um, the difficulty levels. Does it explain what the difficulty levels are? It's cool. It gives you. A, I should have showed this in the jail playthrough, uh, just because I was trying to go everything, go over everything. This would have been uh, good to thumb through then, but I didn't do it. Saving, yeah, and I forget what it was. You get 39, 39 ink ribbons on easy, and I think you get 30 in normal is what it was. So we get like nine, six or nine, I think it's nine ink ribbons less uh, in normal mode. Settings, all this stuff, same. Yeah, they don't cover it. They don't tell you the differences of what easy mode is and what normal mode is. 
Okay, anyway, so we're gonna do new game. Resident Evil. Wide alternate on. And in the Joe playthrough, I did hiking, which is easy. Uh, walking, which is very easy. We did hiking. I'm going to do uh, climbing a mountain on Chris. So this is normal mode. It's probably going to be a quite uh, comical playthrough. <laughs> I'm sure to get my ass kicked to me uh, over and over. And then we're going with uh, just this. Obviously, it's not going to be this outfit because I'm using a modded outfit. But it doesn't matter what I pick. It's going to force my mod outfit anyway. So here we go. Alpha team is flying around the forest zone situated in northwest Raccoon City where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently beaten. The Bravo Team was sent in to investigate. But we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo Team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members. And it turned into a nightmare. this way. There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. We don't know where Barry is. Uh, is everyone all right? Barry. Where's Barry? He's... No. What was that? I'll go and check it out. All right. Jill and I will stay and secure this area. Chris? Take care. Yeah. OK. 
Okay, here we are. Yes, I will take the ink ribbons. So we still get three. Even though we're on normal mode. So Chris, uh, Jill gets the lock pick. By default, Chris gets the lighter. The lighter of lighter. <laughs> I, still, I still don't know why it says that. What does it say on the bottom? Y in Hudson, 1985, since 1985. I've even looked online trying to figure out what lighter of lighter means and I can't find anything. So he gets the lighter and then he gets the survival knife, which is his special one. Carbon reinforced alloy blade with serrated edges. Chris has been using it since his days in the Air Force. And he only has six inventory item slots instead of Jill having eight. He gets uh, daggers for defense items and grenades, basically. Whereas Jill got daggers and uh, stun, uh, stun gun. Uh, for the locked doors in the game for Chris, uh, he has to find, I think they're called small keys or little keys or something. And that's what he can use to get in those doors since he doesn't have the lock pick. Uh, there's only like four or five of them, I think. Um, but that'll dictate when we can and can, can't get in some rooms, whereas Jill could get into them immediately. Um, yeah, he comes with the star's manual again. I can go ahead and read it. Star's manual. These instructions are based on the default control scheme. How to view the status screen. Press Y during the game. You will not be able to view the status screen during cutscenes or while being attacked. In the status screen, you'll, you'll be able to do the following things. Equip weapons, use items, view maps, read files. How to view map. Select map from the status screen or simply push the R, B button uh, during the game. If you have not obtained a map, only the places you have explored will be displayed. How to read maps. Uncolored rooms, unexplored orange rooms, not all items obtained. Green rooms, items obtained. Red doors locked, white doors unlocked, blue doors opened already. How to push objects. When there is a movable object, face the object in the direction you want to push it and press the L thumbstick in the direction you are facing. Climbing up and climbing down. Walk up to an object that's waist high of the character and then press the A button. You can climb on movable objects as well. To climb down from an object, press A while standing on the edge of the object. Equipping weapons. In the status screen, select the weapon you want, then select the equip command. Even if you have a weapon, even if you have a weapon, you must equip it in order to use it. Attacking stance. Hold down left toggle. The player will take an attacking stance towards the closest enemy. How to attack. Press right toggle while holding left toggle. You can attack the enemy with the weapon you have equipped. 180 degree turn. Press X while pressing uh, down on the uh, directional down key. This can also be done using the right thumbstick alone. Just flick the thumbstick any direction. It doesn't matter what direction you press it and uh, your character will also do it. I tend to use this more than I do X and down because X, it takes two button combinations to do it that way. I tend to just, if this is with alternate controls maybe, I don't know if you don't have alternate controls on it, it may not work. Uh, probably still does. But just flick your right thumbstick and that's the easiest way to quick turn. You know, I myself always forget to utilize it. Um, any game that has a quick turn, you should utilize it. It's a quick way to, to get going the other way. <laughs> that's it. I'll also say, uh, yeah, we're going to be visiting item boxes a lot more often because we have two less spaces to work with. And I am following, not following, but referencing the IGN guide for Chris. Um, I will link it in this video in the description, just like I did for Jill, um, the Chris 
uh, things that pertain to Chris will uh, be linked for him. Um, so I am referencing that. I'm going to be using my maps again that are also going to be uh, in the description uh, for the special keys in the mansion you get and where they are to use. So all that will be in the description for you. Uh, we've got our map, which is nothing different. Controls. So yeah, we're good to go now. What we want to do is come back out here first. That gunfire. I'm counting on you to investigate, Chris. You got it, Wesker. Okay, what if I try to go again? Better check this place out first. Okay. So we can't go that way just yet, but we will in a minute. <coughs> Excuse me. When the two have run each other through, the path to your destiny will open. <coughs> Picture of two knights striking each other. The short sword has been thrust into the breast of one knight, while the long sword has pierced the head of the other. Only movement is the silent flicker of the candle's flame. So I'm still going to like look at everything and pick up everything and do everything and read everything that I can, even though I've read everything in the jail playthrough. I'm still treating this like it's its own playthrough, because it is. Right, you take the emblem. We're not going to take that just yet because we don't need it. So, best to leave that. Fighting you, buddy. Now, maybe we can go this way. Wesker, Jill, where did they go? Convenient. Will you take the Samurai Edge Beretta 92FS? Uh, sure. The Star's custom automatic fires 9mm Parabellum rounds. Nice. We're going to equip it. Fifteen rounds already in it. Look around here a little bit. So yeah, I put it in the description, I believe. Yeah, it's in the description. Um, Chris is stronger. Uh, he can do more damage, more DPS uh, when he shoots things. Um, he can also take more hits, more than Jill could. Um, I don't think he's any quicker or slower, per se. Looks like he's probably quicker to aim. I think Jill takes a little longer to aim. And uh, his... His... Uh, the way he attacks with his knife is slightly different than... Man, he really gets a high arc on the up. His attack posture is slightly different with the knife. And yeah, he said he gets the lighter, uh, he gets a better, semi-better. I don't know that it's any stronger survival knife than Jill's, but it's bigger, longer, so maybe more range. Um, he gets the lighter. He only has six inventory slots, though. I 
wonder what's on the other side of this door. Sounds like they had bad luck with Taco Bell. It's locked. An emblem of a helmet is carved into the lock. I'm pretty sure between Joe and Chris, the doors that require the special keys like that one, they all remain the same. Uh, nothing different. We're not going to go this way yet. As much as you guys would love to see me do it, I know better. Uh, I'm not going to open that door. Don't open that door! Just like Wesker says. I think for Jill. So yeah, uh, you can open it. Uh, it shows it's already been opened because it's blue, but you can try to go out there, but uh, I'll leave that up for, for you to discover. <laughs> We're going to go this way for now. So yeah, I am going to get surprised and he's not going to comment about the blood. There are blood stains on the floor. I hope these didn't come from your friends. Um, since I'm not very familiar with Chris's playthrough because I haven't played it uh, completely through. And the first time I played halfway through with Chris was like years and years ago. So, All right, this zombie's going to be in here still, isn't he? There's one over there. Or maybe that's him. Yeah, he goes over there. The corpse of your comrade, Kenneth. It looks like he's holding something. It's a film that belonged to Kenneth. I need a video player to see what's recorded on it. And yeah, this doesn't go in your inventory. It goes in your files. And it goes under mansion, Kenneth film. It just shows you the same thing. So later in the game, towards the end of the game... Uh, We'll run across uh, a VHS player uh, that we can watch this on. And that's something you can either get or leave on him. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you pick it up or not. Okay. Handgun bullets, handgun magazine. 15. Okay. There's a corpse collapsed on the floor like it was an instant death, so... What the hell happened in this mansion? So they don't have any unique... Uh, I mean, there's definitely unique cutscenes. Uh, and since Barry is not here, like he is in Jill's playthrough, uh, Chris has a different helper. But a lot of the dialogue is going to be the same large bird cage. There's a dead raven inside. I guess he's at the very bottom. Okay. So I am hesitant right now to even pick up these herbs, so I'm going to leave them for the moment and just continue upstairs. I'll try not to spoil too much because I'm not going to assume uh, that anybody watching this has ever seen Resident Evil, uh, for one thing, but also I'm not going to assume that um, somebody watching this has already watched my Joe playthrough, because they may not have, so I don't want to just uh, willy-nilly reference things from the Joe playthrough and uh, spoil this one too much, so I'll try to be cool with that. Okay, there's a dude right there. And we can already hear another one over there. I'm not going to go that way yet. So here you can see the dude. Uh, he's already going to walk. Behind us there's a mirror. Okay. There's a mirror reflecting a mirror. He got back up. You can kind of see him there. <laughs> you take the golden arrow, yes. Uh, examine an item from the status screen. Select an item and then select the examine.
command, the details of the item will be displayed. So, examine. The arrowhead looks like it can be removed. Arrowhead. The arrowhead is made from peridot, sometimes referred to as a poor man's emerald. Okay. Uh, go ahead and combine. Get back up to 15 in the handgun. Whoa, I did not expect him to be there. Handgun bullets there. He's not there in easy mode. That surprised me. Need to get out of here is what we need to do. It's locked from the other side. You unlocked it. Okay, we got a zombie over here. Which way are you going to come, buddy? There's a defense item. Can you take the dagger? Yes. Emergency evade. Using defense items such as daggers will allow you to escape momentarily when grabbed by an enemy. However, you will not be able to escape when the enemy grabs you from behind. To equip a defense item, go into the status screen and then select an item from the defense item menu. Then select the equip command. If your defense item mode is set to manual in the control settings, you must press LB left button to use the defense item. Uh, it's already equipped. I mean, it'll equip it automatically, no matter what. Okay, at least those don't go in your inventory, your normal inventory. So I'm going to leave this one alive, I'm trying to lure him. I'm going to go over here. And there's a statue we can push. It has a blue gem in her hand. Push it over a little bit, and then we can push it down. We can get that later. So he's still walking around. Yeah, there's going to be more zombies. I got to play even more careful <laughs> than I normally do. So there's going to be more zombies around. the other side. Just gonna keep looking around here. Locked. An emblem of the sword of a sword is carved into the lock. Just so I can get things color coded correctly on the map. It's locked. An emblem of armor is carved into the lock. An oil painting in a large frame. The painting paint is dried and cracked. Can't make anything out through the darkness and fog. No painting in a large frame. It's been well preserved, and the people are still vividly depicted. Okay, we went everywhere here. Let's go back down. Can go out here. There's a zombie out here, too. I'll wait on that. We already tried this door. Okay, let's go this way. We got a shiny up here. Let's say a woman drawing water. So you could push this over there to get it, which is what you're supposed to do, but we can just go in here too. An eerie picture of the mansion. So when you beat the game, uh, you get a closet key, and when you unlock extra outfits from beating the game a few times on different difficulties or whatnot, uh, if you come back to this uh, in your second playthrough at any time, you'll automatically have the uh, closet key I think it's something you have to have physically in your inventory. But this uh, painting becomes a door, or the painting is moved and there's a door behind it. You use the closet key and get in there and you can change your outfit uh, at any time. So we got 
another dagger. Try to dodge him. That didn't work. Actually, that wasn't a good idea to do that first because now he's alive. And I need to move this thing. Yeah, I, sh I should have did that first. It's okay, whatever. Well, he's not down yet. Not a very good uh, use of ammo, but I want the map, so. Yeah, that was dumb. I shouldn't have done it in that order. Should have got the map first. So a match of first floor. Nice. Got the map of the first floor. Now we want to push this back. So yeah, that was the ammunition I didn't have to waste, but whatever. Okay. Uh, combine it. It's locked. An emblem of a sword is carved into the lock. He might get out of there, I don't know. So we're gonna go back. And head up this way. Keep going. This video will be a little longer than normal, but that's okay. So I hear him. Is that a headshot? I think that was a headshot. Yeah, he looks like he's lost his head. And then there's another guy over here. I'm not going to mess with him yet. Uh, he's guarding some shotgun shells over there. The white. It's locked on the other side. That's a shortcut we'll open later, and you can see the shiny on the ground in there. Let's use home engraved with the picture of an angel. There's an indentation in the shape of an arrowhead. Just gonna use the arrowhead. Stone statue with a hole where the eyes should be. A stone statue with holes where the eyes, nose, and mouth should be. This one's got a weird hitbox. A stone statue where, with a hole where the nose should be. A stone statue with a hole where the mouth should be. The flames are dancing wildly. The hanging coffin and chains in the ceiling can never be a good sign. <laughs> what do we got over here? The book is fitted perfectly in the indentation. Will you take the book of curses? Yes. The following inscription is carved into the indentation. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. titled Book of Curses. There's 
a key embedded on the back cover. Can you remove it? Yes. You got the mansion key. Book of Curses. The Four Masks. A mask that speaks no evil, a mask that smells no evil, a mask that sees no evil, a mask that cannot speak, smell, or see evil. When all four fall into place, evil will awaken. Sounds like a party. Let's check the key out. There's nothing unusual. Spin it around and look at it. There's an engraving of a sword. So now it becomes the sword key. So now we have the sword key. Head on out. Trying to not disturb this dude. Yeah, I don't know what the, uh, and it may change from difficulty to difficulty, but what the RNG random number generator chance. Uh, is that you get a headshot with the handgun. I don't know. Let's go over here and make our first save. We'll end this video. It's an old typewriter. You can save your progress. Use the ink ribbon. Yes. So every time we save, I'm going to make a new save slot. Just to be safe. And uh, Chris thanks you for playing and helping him this far. And uh, when we come back to the next part, we will uh, continue on further in the mansion. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.